So if you've watched point of view or POV driving videos, all of them are recorded with the camera mounted on the head, most likely resting on the forehead or the bridge of the nose. Different mounting options like these right here help mount the camera in a position which is inverted and this provides the best angle and the view since the camera is in line with the driver's eyes. The problem is that these cameras, although compact, are not very light. The DJI Action 3 that I use sometimes is about 150 grams and the mounting clip, this contraption right here, everything combined becomes heavy very quickly. And this becomes a factor for longer videos because anything longer than a few minutes, you really feel the weight of these cameras on your face. It also compromises your vision. This is an issue because when driving on public roads, the stakes are really high. So I use something like this. This is one third of the weight. It is much smaller, so it sits on the forehead, but has less impact on your vision because it's almost as wide as the distance between your eyes. I also use this DIY mounting system that enables me to mount this very quickly and at the same time not have this big bulky setup on my forehead. Mind you, even this setup feels heavy to me. I have the Insta360 Go 2 on the way. It will be arriving in a few days and I'll be comparing the Go 2 with the DJI Action 2 next week. In this video specifically, I will record some sample footage from the DJI Action 2 and when the Insta360 comes, we'll do a similar test from the same angles and do a fair comparison. If you want to see how these cameras compare as POV driving cameras, stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. Coming up is a drive from this evening recorded with the DJI Action 2 on the head mount and the DJI Pocket 2 mounted on the passenger side headrest. Hope you'll find this useful. It's not exactly POV, but it is, you know, my passenger's POV maybe, somebody who's sitting alongside me and I don't know, uh, yes, I'm not putting you in the action when I have a camera right here on my head and it's almost like you are driving the car, it's like you're sitting with me and then I'm driving the car. I don't know if, if that is something you prefer or if you prefer something which is exactly POV. So I'll show you that as well and you would know how much of a difference it actually makes. So this is my DIY solution. Camera goes on. We'll turn this on first. Camera goes on as such, very easy. I hit record. And now we get recording with the camera on the hood. Now the camera is exactly on my eye line or wherever my eyes are, it's in that plane. So this should be much more engaging. Although, yeah, potholes, right? So, probably might be more engaging, but if you don't get the angle right, it can also be slightly skewed. The image can look weird and if I'm not shooting at high enough frame rate, I also feel that there is this motion blur wherein it just feels a natural quick movement of the head. It makes you feel dizzy. So at least it makes me feel dizzy. also losing light very quickly it's almost evening people have their headlights on some of them at least 
it's about seven in the evening. So That is why you have to be very alert on roads like this. There is just so much happening on these roads. Some random kid running on the road, cattle, possibly a cow or something on the road. So that is how it is. If you just leave the image quality aside, purely because it's almost night time right now and this camera right here is not recording to its full potential simply because the ambient light, it's, it's very low. But if you just look at the angle itself, it's completely a preference thing now. Some people would prefer an angle like this but this is putting your audience right into the action and then you have an angle that is like this on the headrest that's more of a passenger view so you have somebody sitting alongside you and essentially your audience is sitting with you and then you are talking. And I've been driving for a few minutes now and I can already feel the weight of this camera on my forehead. It's not, it's not heavy, it's about 50 grams or so. So it's very light. But then you're always conscious about this thing here on your head. And that is why I have the Insta360 Go 2 on the way. It's much lighter. I believe it is 27 grams. So it's half of the size. And then it has this small clip that clips onto your hat. That's lighter than this DIY contraption that I have. So as a whole the system weighs much less and if I can just put that on my head and forget that I have something on my head recording I am open to trying that